Welcome back to this NPTEL course on game theory. In the previous session we introduced the notion of evolutionary stable strategy. We continue discussing about this. In fact, in the last session we ended with an example, but of course we have not given a complete details. I will recall this example again. So, it is a hawk dove example. In the hawk dove game what we have is that it is a species having two behaviors, one is hawk behavior and other is dove behavior. If two species of hawk behavior encounter, they fight for the resource, the resource has a worth V and if they fight one of them has to concede, in fact one of them will lose the resource to the other one. So, the cost of losing is C. Therefore, one species will get V, other will get minus C because we are in an averaging framework. So, therefore, on an average the hawks get V minus C by 2. Now, if hawk and dove encounter, hawk gets the resource, dove gets nothing because it is not fighting. And when two doves encounter, they split the resource. So, therefore, the game is going to be 2 by 2 game, hawk, dove, hawk, dove. If H, H means it is V minus C by 2 and if hawk and dove means it is hawk will get V, dove will get 0. Of course, V minus C by 2, V minus C by 2, D gets nothing and H gets V and both dove means it is V by 2, V by 2. Now, what exactly is the Nash equilibrium uh, evolutionary stable strategy? In fact, computing the Nash equilibrium itself is an interesting exercise which you should try to do it. So, evolutionary stable strategy. So, evolutionary stable strategy satisfies the following thing. It satisfies pi x epsilon y plus 1 minus epsilon x is strictly greater than pi y epsilon y plus 1 minus epsilon x for all epsilon between 0 and epsilon bar of course y in delta. Now equivalent definition is this is equivalent to saying that x is symmetric Nash equilibrium and pi x y is strictly greater than pi y y for all y in best response of x. These are the two conditions. So, compute the Nash equilibrium of this game particularly when we need to look at the symmetric Nash equilibrium and then verify one of these two conditions and we will get the this thing. So, I will leave a general thing as an exercise, but in particular what I will do right now is take this matrix A to be minus 1, 2, 0, 1. We look at this specific situation and then calculate. So, we look at the mixed strategy. Half, half and what is pi y x? This is going to be, if we calculate the value, this is nothing but minus y1 by 2 plus y1 plus 1 minus y1 by 2, which if you calculate this is going to be half for all y in delta. If you take half half as this thing and pi y x is going to be simply this. So, basically we are using y transpose a half half that is exactly this expression. Now, if we calculate pi x comma y minus pi y comma y this if you really calculate using this formula or whatever it is is going to be 2 y 1 minus half 
square which is strictly greater than or equals to 0. Okay. So, here this equality holds only if y1 is equals to half that means y and x are one and the same. If y and x are the same then this particular thing is going to be equal to 0 otherwise this is strictly greater than 0. Now this implies the second condition of the theorem that we have proved in the previous session. So now the next thing that needs to check is half half is symmetric Nash equilibrium. If half half is a symmetric Nash equilibrium and this condition and from whatever uh, we have done it previously in the previous session immediately infer we can infer that half half is going to be a evolutionary stable strategy. Okay. So, this is a simple exercise, but the all of you should try solving for general this thing is what is the symmetric Nash beam you compute it and then what is the ESS here in this game and what are the conditions on V and C which gives you this one. So, this, this is just a computational exercise so I will skip the details. Okay. Now let us look at another game. we look at now rock paper scissors. So, the rock paper scissors game has this thing 0 1 minus 1 minus 1 0 1 1 minus 1 0. Okay. In fact, we can easily verify that 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3 is a symmetric Nash equilibrium. This is the in fact this is the unique symmetric unique Nash equilibrium here. So, this is not a hard thing to prove. So, this is going to be a symmetric Nash equilibrium. Now, is this So, let us check it what is going to be pi x e 1 if player 2 plays column 1 against 1 over 3, 1 over 3, 1 over 3. So, therefore, 1 over 3 into 0, 1 over 3 into minus 1, 1 over 3 into 1. So, this is 0. In fact, this is also same as pi e 1 e 1. So, the condition that we had that if e 1 is in fact a best response to 1 over 3 1 over 3 1 over 3 because this has an equalizing property because this is a completely mixed equilibrium. So, every pure strategy will give you the same value, but we require whenever such a thing happens even is a best response to this thing we need we know that pi x e 1 should be bigger than strictly bigger than pi e 1 e 1, but that is not true here. Therefore, 1 over 3, 1 over 3, 1 over 3 is not E s s. So, this is a an example where there is no evolutionary stable strategy. Okay. Now, there is another some interesting consequences of uh, this definition is let me recall the definition of a support of a mixed strategy is basically is nothing but all pure strategies E i such that x i is greater than 0. Support of a mixed strategy is nothing but the pure strategies which are played with positive probability. Okay. Let us say lambda x is basically the 
convex hull of S x. So, so, lambda x is the convex hull of all the pure strategies which have a positive probability in the x. So, this lambda x is convex hull of S x. Now, we have the following interesting thing theorem if x belongs to delta is ESS then there is no other symmetric Nash equilibrium in lambda x. That means if x is a ESS then x is going to be the only ESS where all these pure strategies that are played in x are going to be played. So, there is no other this is in fact not a, a hard thing because x is a ESS that means x is a symmetric Nash equilibrium and hence all the pure st strategies in SX are going to be best responses to X. Therefore, this lambda X itself is going to be a best response because every pure strategy is a best response to X. Therefore, any convex combination of those best responses is also in best responses. So, therefore, lambda X is going to lie inside this best response. Therefore, because all of them, so the, the, the condition pi x y is strictly greater than pi y y for every y in lambda x. Therefore, y cannot be symmetric Nash equilibrium. Okay. If y is symmetric Nash equilibrium this inequality cannot happen. So, therefore, if y is a symmetric Nash equilibrium pi y y should be bigger than or equals to pi x y for each x y, but we have other way inequality. So, therefore, this thing. So, this is an interesting fact about this ESS. If you have one ESS within that support that is going to be the only ESS. In the some sense if you have two ESS of a game they will be completely disjoint the supports will be in a sense disjoint ok. okay. The next we can actually prove the following theorem. So, let me the following are equivalent. So, x is ESS the second is there exists a neighborhood of x such that f x y greater than f y y for all y in u such that y is not equals to x. So, what exactly is this condition? If you have a x as a ESS this is equivalent to saying that there is a neighborhood u of x such that in that neighborhood f x y is strictly greater than f y y. Of course, this is true for all y in u with y not equals to x. So, in fact, uh, this is a, a nice exercise of convexity. Okay. So, all these are pi's I have been uh, putting a wrong notations here. All these are pi's I think in the previous we have put correctly this is pi. So, uh, the whole idea of the proof using this thing is that suppose this is x if you take any other thing you take a convex combination of this first any convex combination of this will be if you take some a y here. Okay. So, 1 minus epsilon x plus epsilon y will belongs to u for small epsilon 
because epsilon when epsilon is small this is going to be x this is contributing 0 that means it should come here. So, the continuity arguments and all says that when epsilon is sufficiently small this must be in u. So, use that fact in the previous theorem and from there you can conclude this. So, this I will leave it as an exercise and we will go to prove the next part. So, here we are now interested in introducing replicator dynamics. So, evolutionary stable strategy is basically a strategy, a strategy of the incumbents incumbent and then if some mutants enter the population then whether this incumbent strategy survives or not. ESS simply talks about that, but how the ESS is arrived at in the society or in that system it does not tell you. The replicator dynamics gives you a way of dealing with this fact. So, let us look at the replicator equation. So, we consider a large population so, so the they are playing these pure strategies E1, E2, E m. These are the m pure strategies this large population the popul people, people in the population are playing one of these pure strategies. Let us assume the population state is x t which is nothing but x 1 t, x 2 t, x m t. So, remember x 1 t is basically the fraction of population playing E 1, x 2 is the fraction of population playing E 2, x m is the fraction of population playing E m. So, x t is this thing, the state of the population is this. Now, in a sense x i t is nothing but n i t by n t. At any point of time n i t is the number of people, number of uh, the population playing i, the size of the population playing i by total size of the population this is this. The t here is the time, we are now considering the system over a time. So, the t is Okay. Let us say at time t the average payoff to an individual adapting E i in a random match. So, let us say an individual in the population adapts to E i and he is randomly matched, then his average payoff is nothing but pi E i x t, pi E i x t is going to be his average payoff. So, the population average is which we have been seeing already is pi x t x t. So, if you randomly pick people they are actually going to be according to x t. So, therefore, pi x t x t gives you the population average whereas, if a random individual adapting u i if he is playing with this population he is going to get pi e i x t. So, I denote this sigma e i x to be this difference. So, so what now we would like to change that the relative rate of change. So, the relative rate of change x i dot t by x i t. This is measure of evolutionary success of E i strategies. If a, if a person has to change to E i or not that particular factor is given by this x i dot t by x i t. So, in a sense this has to be sigma E i x. 
So, when this happens basically the, uh, the success of E i because x i dot is the rate at which the population is changing the uh, x i dot t by x i t is giving you the relative rate of change of is a success of E i strategies. So, this is a kind of a Darwinian uh, idea. So, with this we get this equation. So, this equation is called this if I write it multiply this one this is nothing but x i t sigma e i x I will write it whatever is there here pi e i x t minus pi x t x t. So, this is known as replicator equation. Now, let us check one interesting fact is that what is the summation of x i dot t where i runs from 1 to m. This is nothing but if I sum over all these things pi of this that is nothing but pi x i t of pi e i my x t minus pi x t x t. Okay. If you really calculate this, this is going to be 0. So, in fact, x i pi e i x t summation of that is simply pi x t x t. This is uh, pi x t x t x i dot t x i t summation of that is pi x t x t. So, therefore, this is going to be 0. Therefore, x i t or summation is nothing but summation x i 0. Initially, if x i at 0, x i is a probability distribution that means summation x i at 0 is 1 then summation x i t continues to be 1. Therefore, the replicator dynamics is a trajectory on the simplex. So, therefore, x t belongs to delta for all t. So, now the, the question is does there is exist a solution to replicator equation. So, if you look at it here this equation pi e i x t this is a linear in this variable. So, therefore, this is a nice function similarly this is a bilinear function. So, therefore, nice function Lipschitz continuity and everything holds. So, therefore, the right hand side of this differential equation this differential equation replicator equation is a Lipschitz continuous function. So, therefore, the replicator equation admits replicator equation admits a unique solution in delta whenever x at 0 belongs to delta. If you start in delta it remains in delta and in fact there is a unique solution. Okay. So, now let us look at it. If x is an ESS what is going to happen to it? If x is an ESS if you look at this particular thing pi e i x t minus pi x t x t what will happen to this one? So, let us look at it. So, let us take the set delta 0 is all x in delta such that sigma e i x is 0 for all i in S x. So, I am only looking at those x in delta for which sigma e i x is 0 for i in the support of x. If i is not in the support of x, I do not care whether it is 0 or not. So, so this is nothing but the stationary points of replicator equation. Okay. So, what is now interesting thing here is that now we can uh, make the following statement which whose proof we will continue in the next session is 
the following thing. Let x belongs to delta if x is symmetric Nash equilibrium then it is a stationary point of replicator equation. Okay. So, the converse is true when one of the following holds. One x is in the interior of delta, second x is a limit state of trajectory lying in the interior of delta 3 is x is lie up now stable state of replicator equation. So, we will prove this thing theorem in the next session, but first I would like to say this part if x is a symmetric Nash equilibrium then it is automatically a stationary point here. So, if x is a symmetric Nash equilibrium for all of its uh, support we know that they are in the best response and by the definition of the sigma e i x this has to be 0. Therefore, the symmetric Nash equilibrium are nothing are the stable or the stationary points. Now, whether they are stable or not that requires further things and in fact ESS is connected with the stability which we will see it in the next session. With this we will conclude this session and we will continue in the next. Thank you. Thank you.